Here we are in this very special place, Bear Creek, that has such rich history. I very much have a deep, largely inexplicable connection. This place has inspired me to up my game as high as I'm humanly able to bring it. And so this place helps me bring it. This is our chapter two at Bear Creek Studios. We were here last year and it was an amazing experience. But the whole vibe is very, very different for us this year. We really took a lot of time to hone our sound. We decided our sound was Soulgrass and started paring down the choices based on how we wanted to present our music to the world. The second thing was we all got better over the past year. Some of the songs we're working on now are reimaginings of works I wrote a year ago or more. A third thing is we performed a lot over the past year and so as a band, as a unit, we're just far more tight and in sync with each other. And he goes, it says sprocket, not suck it. <laughs> the final sauce is we needed the energy and vision of someone like Trina Shoemaker. You have your drawings, you have your ideas, and then you end up with your building materials and your crew, and you start the process of watching a building get built, and it comes out different, even though you had blueprints. I mean, how different can it be? And yet it is. You just meld and accept, okay, that's the new right. And then you sit in here and you're just sculpting, sorting order out of chaos, but then hoping that it still feels a little bit chaotic. It all just came together on the first day. I understood what she wanted, and I understood where she wanted to diverge from her earlier recording. And I knew in listening to the earlier recordings that I could take her to a new place, and I think that's the place she wanted to go. It feels like family, what we've created. Everyone believes that what we're doing matters, it's special. There is a song called Gigging for the Angels, and it's the story of a young man who came to one of our shows with his dad. It totally threw me for a loop when seven months later, his father reached out to me to let me know that Tristan had died. These words started pouring out of me, and when I played it for the band, their reaction was immediate, that must go on the record. And indeed, Tristan's parents are gonna come out to Bear Creek to hear that song in the setting of the studio. The recording's just a capturing of a moment, but for, the mo for this moment, which is visually represented right here, but is much bigger than that. It's an intimacy that, once the record's done too, you, you remember the intimacy, but there's only one time that it's this intimate, and it's right now. And I'm glad for it, because Tristan feels very much alive to me. I didn't know him, and so therefore, 
Um, he's completely living, and uh, however that might be a bad thing to say, but to me he's just entirely alive. He could have slain the dragons like some modern god had, but he's game for the angels. Wish I'd known you, Tristan. Wish I'd known. Paul is so incredibly diverse that I was almost afraid to come here. She may not have experience in the studio, that's my realm, but just learning about her, I understood that she's a person who sets a goal and gets it done. Things that normally people would think, well, that's outside of what's achievable by me, and I'll stick with the known. She has, it seemingly every time, set herself an unachievable goal and then reached it. And with her music, she recognized in herself a dream that she wanted to fulfill and stepped right out onto the edge and jumped off and did not sink. And it's inspired me to not forget as I reach my 50s now that there are other um, you know, things that I'd like to be too and I may just go for it. My biggest, biggest hope for this record is that it enjoys enough critical acclaim that the other things I'm trying to do with this record happen. So if the record soars, that puts by definition a spotlight on music education. If this record soars, by definition, it puts a spotlight on sort of the diversity of what it means to be a booming boomer, you know. And that's really cool. We can't know the master 